The truth is more likely to stab you than to fight beside you if you go against it. The right you could provide new pride to define. Few people trying to stop your reign, but while trying to deride due judgment, something still remains. Painting me black might make it feel like it's still your domain, and you could gas yourself up in order to justify your gain, but I'll explain something. You black and the ones you're shunning, but black just makes it hard to see your retribution coming. It's shameful. This impasse turns your disaster But poor is the pupil that doesn't surpass his master Even poor is the master that inhibits his pupils And limits the youthful abusing their prime even if small Even poor is the person regarded sublime and all For those secrets are found with time And those secrets hardens his fall into his penance His canvas always made it to be blank And for all that, you have a woman to Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I have a woman to thank as well. Uh, thank you very much, Milksteak, for the thirty dollars. I uh, appreciate it, uh, as well as two dollars from Brendan.srt. Having a bad day. Thanks for the stream, Claw. We're gonna make that day just a tiny bit, at least, at least a little bit better. 05 percent, maybe. You know, I don't know. We're gonna try. Uh, it's gonna be one of those compare your lives to them, and then you know, feel better about yourself kind of thing. Uh, uh, and then five bucks from Kate. Nice easy tunes to gently usher us from sleep to horror. Thank you. Yeah, that was the J, uh, J Music Ensemble version of, uh, the, the, the art gallery theme from, uh, Persona 5. I thought, you know, that's a good song to, that's a good song to get us into artismism. Welcome. Welcome. We're looking at deviance. We're looking at potentially fur affinity. I don't know. The floor is open to suggestions. If you've got suggestions, that's fine, but we're going to be focusing on specifically art people, deviant art people. I have a couple saved. There's a couple things I want to look up. We have uh, Johnny Test in the thumbnail, so I'm definitely going to want to, uh, I'm definitely going to want to look at some Johnny Test stuff. I had to search the term Johnny Test inflation on Google to get, to get the thumbnail happening. Um, so, you know, we're going to get into that, get into that. But uh, we also, I want to look at some Control-Alt-Delete. It's been a little while, it's been a couple of weeks since we've last engaged with the funny comic. The funny comic. Um, if you weren't here last time, I believe pretty much the whole time that we did uh, Control-Alt-Delete, uh, it was Ethan and, uh, what's her fucking name? I want to say Ela, but it's not. It's it's not. It's it's Ethan and, 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 and Lady. Lila. Layla? Le Layla. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the other guy whose name I can't fucking remember. Uh, Ethan and Layla dealing with the repercussions of the, uh, the loss comic, uh, where she had a miscarriage, and it was, like, fucking 20 issues or something that we read, or more, and, and, and it was all just, like, very awkward. There were barely any jokes, and when there were, they were, uh, not good. Uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a really fun time. So welcome to the stream. Uh, first we're gonna do some DeviantArt stuff. I don't know if I should mix the Control-Alt-Delete throughout. I mean, no, I think it would be better. I think it would be better for the ease of people viewing later if they maybe just want to see one segment and not the other. I suppose I'll, I'll do, I'll do just DeviantArt stuff now and maybe for Affinity and whatever. And then in a little while we'll do some, uh, Control-Alt-Delete. How's that? Um, uh, w welcome to the stream, everybody. Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, that Ethan. That Ethan. Not the, not Klein. I think I did call him Ethan Klein at one point, because, like, because he reminds me of Ernest Klein, but also his name makes me think of Ethan Klein from H3H3. Like, the character, it's the, it's, he's, it really is just the perfect asshole, if you think about it. I mean, um, speaking of the perfect asshole, I might play, I might... I might be doing game stuff in a little while, potentially. I uh, I did my second run of Disco Elysium, and I'm kind of thinking of playing through as high big brain, low emotional intelligence, weakling who has no 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 uh, no cool and no motor skills, uh, basically, and and going like fascist route, basically playing like a like a like a somebody who somebody who uh, somebody who uses uh, a rumble. Or something like that, as a, for a full playthrough. I, th I think that would be pretty good, but uh, p potentially, potentially. Uh, two bucks from Sonic Lol Productions. The horror begins. It does. Speaking of games, by the way, 
I still have to do more Sonic Adventure 2. It's just really hard to motivate myself. I will play more of it, and it will be on stream. It's hard to motivate myself, though, because the last time I played it, I ended with Pyramid Cave, which was... I had frustrations with it, but it was still one of, you know, the really good Sonic levels in the game. And as much as I will stand stand up for Knuckles' treasure hunt shit, and I will stand up for the whole game, even though I don't really like Tails' shooting levels, man, I am doomed to do, like, multiple Tails and Knuckles levels before I get another fucking Sonic level. And it's, it's like, man, I kind of want to play it again, but... I just don't know if I have that in me, because it's also, like, the worst Knuckles level, too, that I have to do immediately when I start playing. Uh, which is, like, you know, not the most exciting thing, you know? So I will get back to it, but may I might start the Dark storyline, just to, you know, get that going. And then return to Sonic stuff when I'm, like, you know, a little more... I, I don't know, maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Um, uh, ten bucks from Vomit Omelette. Good luck scaring everyone. Sad to miss the inflation comics and weird abortion comics. <laughs> well, it's not an abortion. It's a, it's a, it was a, it was a miscarriage. Let's get it, let's, come on now. Let's get it right here. It was a miscarriage. Don't, don't put words in anybody's mouth here. It was a miscarriage. Um, uh, it, weird, weird, weird miscarriage comics. Uh, inflation, I mean, that's. Certainly, that one's certainly likely. So, let me see here. Well, I have one to start, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> so this is a she-her uh, person, born in 1987, deviant for 10 years. And this is... Um, this is uh, Bugs Cyan twenty seven, or s s or really it's it's spelled incorrectly, so it's Say Ian. I guess it's Say Sayan actually. I think there's like a mistranslation and they spelled it wrong in the English, so it's like it's actually like Sayan, but uh, it's I always have problems with that because it's because the fucking name it's cyan the way it's supposed to be fucking spelled except that's apparently like a mistranslation and it's actually like say sayan super sayan or something but they like spelled it wrong but anyway this person also spelled it wrong bugs say ian 27 looney tunes have no bounties and i don't know what that means so much but i do know that we've got some sexy sexy skeleton men I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, Sans, or what the fuck is happening here. This skeleton man is turning into, like, a Naga over here. I guess this is Sans. This is official Sans Amino, it says it says down there. So this is some, some hot Sans art. I don't remember where I found this, but it's in my bookmarks. I think a friend might have sent it to me. We got... Oh, this is nice. See, actually, and this is good. This is good. This is better than any NFT that I've ever seen. I mean, it's very similar to every NFT I've ever seen, but it's better than all of them, I swear. Um, so you know the the Mega Man Final Smash in uh, in Smash Brothers, where he, he like calls in all of the other Mega Man, the super fighting robot. Um, well, we've got that here, and I don't know if I can. I think I can show this because there's something on the ground here that kind of looks. There's something on the bottom area that looks like balls. But I don't believe it is balls. I'm not certain what it is. I don't know what it, the fuck it is. But I don't think it's balls. Uh, this is fine. Yeah, it's Sans. And Sans is here and he's got different outfits. There's different versions of Sans. There's Super Ultra Instinct Sans. Um, Super San, Sai Sans. That, that, that didn't work. But, you know, he's, he's turning that way. And then down here, yeah, there's, like, something that looks like balls, but I think it's attached to his, like, sword or something. I'm not sure. But, uh, it's, it's good stuff. It's excellent stuff. Uh, Bug Sayon. Bug, Bug Sayon. Um, um. Let me see. Drawing AUs of Sans and stuff. Go to gallery here. And, uh... I don't remember. Well, you got this, and I mean, this just looks like a. I mean, this is like Deviant Art Undertale AU art, 
are alternative versions of Sans interacting with each other and with like, and this is like a fan a f- uh, uh, a happy birthday message. Be happy, never give up. To Tapu and Chinchi, or Tanu, or something. I don't know, but both of the Sans is down there. Uh, include. I guess there's also there's a difference. There's mo- there's so many Sanses. There's like Sanses coming out of the fucking sides of the screen, but there's like a super negative Sans. Uh, this is basically if I, I'm gonna tell my grandkids that this is the plot of uh, of of the Flash movie. Uh, you know, really, um, because you can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me it's not. Um, let's see. So the guys in this are this lady. This lady is into Bugs Bunny stuff as well, and like uh, a WB and whatnot. And so, so we got a super ultra buff Bugs. Well, I found this tiny skeleton laying near my home. Can we keep him? Yeah. And and yeah, there's a little, there's a little, there's a little Sans. He's having some trouble. I don't know why Sans is so scared. You'd think Sans would be able to maintain his composure. You know, given how hard the boss fight is and everything, but I guess Bugs is just so buff that it's uh, it's not he's not able to you know he's not able to do it uh, do anything about it. Um, we've got like a we've got like a, an, uh, a did they try to make this? Oh yeah, they made it. They made a they made a costume. Uh, They made they made like a costume of, of their super cool sans. I guess it's a decent costume, I, I suppose. Uh, you know, I just I don't know. I, I I don't know. I guess good job. You know, good good job. There you go. Um, yeah, I mean this is not the worst artist I've ever seen, but then sometimes it is because like you get art like this, and this is super sans and infant frisk. And it doesn't even look like the fucking kid from Undertale. But it's like, I guess they're an infant, so that's why. But it's it looks like fucking piss. It's garbage. I mean, that one's garbage. And I say that so candidly because one, something like this... You know, I actually think this is kind of fun. I mean, it's a, you know... It's a, it's not, it's not, it's not super crazy, but I enjoy the aesthetic of it. I enjoy it. I, I enjoy. Uh, the other one is, it lo- doesn't look good. But a lot of these, a lot of these maybe don't don't look super good. But uh, you know, there's 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 a real there's a real attempt here. Uh, real big fan of this is an this is an image called "Hot Men at a Bar and Grill B," which it makes me sad because well, I would assume that these three are the hot men. I don't know if this one is Papyrus. Or if like this, or if it's just a taller Sans, or I don't know how that works, but but Bugs is like sexy, hot Magic Mike Bugs Bunny, but and the thing is, it's called Hot Man at a Bar and Grillby, and I would assume I you know I remember somewhat uh, some things about Undertale. I think this is Grillby, the fire guy. Why can't he also be a hot man at a bar? I mean, I guess it's a joke. I think it might be a joke because he's all, he is on fire, so he is really a hot man. Quite literally, he's a hot man. But I just find it rude to suggest that he is not one of the hot men in this image. I, I mean, I think he, he perfectly fits the bill. Do not undersell Grillby over here. He looks he looks, he looks looks like he's having a good time. Um, but but sexy bugs, though. I mean, that's the, that's the one you really want to fuck. Um, oh, dear. Oh. Oh dear. Um, you know, so that's Bugs Saiyan, Cyan, Saiyan, Super Saiyan. Bugs Say Ian 27 is the cha- is the is the user. Um, let me see here. Uh Take a look at chat. Yeah, it's pretty cursed. It's pretty bad. I really should have warned people first. Yeah, what's up, Doc? Seductively, seductively. Yeah, 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 seductively. Um, he's the hottest. Kind of clever. Zambugs. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I don't know. You don't need to... You, listen, chat members, listen. That the Bugs Bunny humanoid creature didn't jump down your soul and eat your dreams yet, so you don't need to be mean to it just yet. I mean, if, if that happens, go all, go all wild, you know? But... But, you know, that's just, you know, it's just, a, it's just a Bugs Bunny humanoid hybrid trying to live their lives. You know, what's, uh, what's wrong with that? In, in this economy, in this society, even. Um, let me see here. Uh, 5SGD from John, J-On. Hi, Odetto. Hi, Odetto. Have you ever heard of Lilo and Stitch's Holocaust? No, I certainly have not. No, I certainly have not. Oh, it's just okay. Well, I mean, it's a fan fiction. And I can read the fan fiction. But also, it's just a couple of words. What the fuck? It's a hundred words, it's like a paragraph. What do you mean? Have you heard of Lilo and Stitch's Holocaust? So, so, so yes, I've heard of it in the sense that, uh, in the sense that, I've heard of fucking, uh, Nick the Ultima Sol Sword Wielder who has a five thousand one hundred and sixty-six page Wikia page or fandom or whatever, um, page, uh, and and one of the many pages is called Lilo and Stitch's Holocaust. And it is a discontinued story in the Universal Takeover Saga by Nick the Ultima Sword Wielder, focusing on Lilo and Stitch's world being taken over by the organization. It is set to be the sixth story in the saga after Timmy Turner's tragedy and before Titan's terror. Oh, well, shiver me timbers. It uh, certainly has... It currently only has its prologue written. Uh... And yeah, I mean, there's only really a prologue. It's just a paragraph. I don't know. It's not. I'm not doing deviant art today, but or I'm I'm not doing I'm not I'm doing deviant art today. I'm not doing fanfics and stuff. But this is like a one paragraph fan fiction. Uh, I don't know. the The concept of it sounds funnier. I think the concept of a super chat saying, "Have you heard of Lilo and Stitch's Holocaust?" is funnier than the the actual thing that I just found. Really, that's not. I don't know. Uh, I, um, that's fine. Let me see here. Uh, Lorem Ipsum Delore with two bucks. Wow, what a birthday treat. Big fan. Well, you know, a happy birthday. Uh, this is, uh, this is a birthday celebration, uh, for you specifically. Uh, we all are joined here today for you, uh, and we're here, uh, and if you don't, if you don't like the present, then really you're just ungrateful and you're kind of a shithead. You're kind of just a bad person, really. If you find out that you don't like the stream for whatever reason, you know, you, you really, that just sucks for you. That sucks to suck, really. You know, and I hope you have a bad birthday if that happens. But uh, other than that, I hope you have a good birthday. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Have a good one. Uh, uh, five bucks from John. I uh, uh, hope everyone's week will go amazing. Weekend will go amazing. Jedwing, I challenge you to read Silver Soul by Matemi. Uh, well, I mean, okay, not today. I mean, if that's better than the... One paragraph Lilo and Stitch Holocaust one. Silver Soul. Uh, by Beach House. Okay, it's a Pokemon thing. No, it's a per- it's a Pern comic. It's Pern comic. We're an Al Pern comic dot com. Every comic for free. Uh, Silver Soul. I mean, you, you know, you fucking challenge me. It's like it's a porn comic. What do you mean you challenge me? I can't read it on stream. What the fuck are you talking about? I challenge you to read... Like, you mean just on my own? I mean, alright. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to read this. There's, like, Pokemon fuck sex. There's fuck sex happening. I, I can't. I can't do that. What do you mean? I challenge you to read it. It's like it's porn. It's it's porn. Come on now. Five bucks from Muds thirty three. Love the streams this week, Claw. Unrelated, but I recommend listening to Wise After the Event by Anthony Phillips. Have a lovely weekend. Well, I, I'm not sure I know about Anthony Phillips. He sounds like a math teacher, but you know, some of the best musicians do sound like math teachers when you when you listen to them. Um, let me see. Another one that I have saved here. We'll do uh we'll do some stuff. 
We'll do some stuff, uh, just, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do some suggestions for things to look up, like, uh, keywords, Johnny test inflation and what, like, what, what not. But, uh, but, but first, somebody suggested this a couple days ago, um, on one of the suggestion streams. This is, uh, somebody who I saved. I don't know how interesting they'll really be. I'm looking at it now. Uh... Somewhat, I suppose. It's uh, it's somebody by the name of uh, Haley Kitty does art, and there's a lot of devi deviations. There's like over two thousand different fucking art pieces. Uh, this appears to be somebody who's really into Seymour Skinner from fucking Simpsons. Um. And and so they they put Seymour Skinner into things. There's a series about this. Um. What the? Where am I and what's going on? Ah! We'll be right back. And so this is Seymour Skinner turning into a pony. And he realizes that he's a pony. And he uh, has some issues with it. Oh, Fluttershy touched him and that's why he went, ah. Uh. And then we did the this meme. That's good. That's, that's a good meme. You're well memed, my friend. Well memed. Um, if Seymour was in uh, Friday Night Funkin'. You said you wanted some rap battle or something, right? Yeah! Well, I'm not really a good singer. I sound kinda, well, kinda weird when I sing. Why is this like a sexy boy Seymour Skinner, everybody? Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Bart Simpson, tell me why. Uh, uh yeah, and so he sings it. And, um... He's a sexy boy, Seymour Skinner individual. Somebody who just... Because the thing is, it's like, it's you're not even into Seymour Skinner. You're into your weird version of Seymour Skinner. Who it look, looks like a sexy boy from fucking Backstreet Boys. And looks like he's, you know... He puts his hand behind his head all... Oh, all twee and fucking cutesy. And, like, that's not even who the fucking character is, so what are you... Ju you're just into your own, like, OC version of this character, I guess? So here's, uh, uh, Seymour Skinner and Baldi's Basics. Uh, and, and they're, they're certainly in Baldi's Basics, and Baldi is spanking him. Owie, I'm a grown man! You can't do this, you big meanie! Ouch! I want my mommy! And, uh, he's reduced to a a little thumb sucking baby with um big big eyes suck suck all he did was ask a question you know god i turned off the mic that's what that's what happens there's a turn off the mic button right above the uh switch back to fireplace button it's very dangerous that's what that's what happened before i think um I don't know why I I don't know why I even have that on there. I don't need it. But um yeah. Uh very sexy sexy twee uh fucking Seymour Skinner. There's a Pizza Tower one, there's a FNAF one, all the good memes. We got Doki Doki. We got Bendy and the Ink Machine and and he's certainly sexy in all of them. We got Seymour versus the Forces of Evil over here. Uh behold the forces of evil. And I mean, again, like you're making Seymour Skinner and like his mom. I don't know what characters are, are these are on this fucking other show, but I don't know if it's him and his mom. I, I don't know. It's just very strange. It's very strange. I, I just... Gary Diaz... Wait, what the fuck? Gary is Marco in this AU, everybody. Everybody, it's me, Gary! This is a uh, Gary. I guess that's fucking... Is that like Chalmers? They're on a first name basis with this this person, by the way. It says Gary Diaz. It's it's not it's not like Marco Chalmers or anything. It's it's I think it's I think Gary is Chalmers. This that would make sense. But, um, it's Marco Diaz Chalmers. 
I guess. Uh, you know, and just keep in mind that this person is one of many, many wonderful people who are in charge of shaping democracy. Um, uh, so yeah, that's Seymour versus the, the forces of evil. And then there's just two, th over two, over 2,200, uh, devi other deviations. Well, what's funny is there are, uh, all 2,286 deviations featured 2,283. So for some reason, three of these images were just considered not good enough to be featured in in this list of every other thing that this person has ever made. Um, so, uh, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, it's cartoon show art. It's like crossover shit. It's Doki Doki Monica meets JFK from fucking Clone High. Uh, Velma meets Velma, like, you know, there's creepy pasta shit, like there's this. Seymour meets MX. I, I guess this is a, a really funny creepy pasta meme. A MX, he's scary, everybody. It's Mario, but he's, he's, he's scary. And he's gonna eat Seymour up. Just... C Seymour like the name even the name of him being Seymour is like it's just not a I don't know it's not a name you often hear as like a sexy man name it's it's like it's, it's kind of why they picked it probably but don't worry because we've got multiple redesigned scary Seymours over here we got Seymour.exe we got Xmore we got Majin more we got the virus and then we got, YOU BROKE MY GRILL?! I don't know why he's just called Grill. That's weird. That's a weird one. Um, uh, really, it's all weird. Again, again, a valued member of democracy. Uh, <laughs> uh, the person who made this. Um, so yeah, this person's really into Seymour. There's a lot of other stuff you're not seeing. Cartoon bullshit. Various... Loud House and fucking Owl House and Pizza Tower and there's like a steamed hams pizza tower thing. I don't know. The it's um there's whatever this is. Uh so Haley, I guess, is the uploader. It's the person f uh, and then and they upload it's the person whose who's, who's art this is, Haley, I guess brought somebody back to life from, like, some goo here. What the fuck? Who are you people? Why am I naked? Because you're, you're naked because you suck. Haley says, you must be wondering why I brought you back to life, right? I'm not bringing you back to life because I think you can change. In fact, I think you're a piece of garbage. You're alive again because... Lisa wants some test subject that we don't care about since you're a jerk. Have fun, Philly. There's villains. Lisa's experiments. Uh-huh. There's murder, fresh meat to experiment on. So this is like a torture thing, I guess. I don't know who the fuck these people are. I, I don't know. This is apparently this this person's like self-insert or, or something. It's their character. It's a character named Haley. Uh, oh yeah, they've got their own OCs and stuff. There was a character there named Betrayus who was talking. Betrayus is a Shadow the Hedgehog Ryuko with a trans flag button. Uh, this is this is just quite frankly too dumb to speak of. Even, I mean. This is just so dumb. They speak of it in hushed tones in, in dark circles of the internet of how dumb this is. Probably a child. You would assume so. One would assume so. But then they are making Seymour Skinner stuff. How? What is the channel here? Deviant for five years. It's they're they, them. Uh... Uh, uh, no, it doesn't say their their age or anything. I love doing art. Favorite, t oh my god, favorite TV shows, Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. The 
The fucking AIDS Pac-Man show where he inflates and becomes a meme. That fucking garbage. The cancerous Pac-Man show that bred two of the worst games in that entire franchise. The fucking tie-in games for that TV show. The the Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric of Pac-Man. Uh, yeah, they that's the one of their favorites. That's cool. Um, and reminder, if you like that show, that's perfectly fine. That's your opinion. I, I don't want to be the opinion basher here. Um, uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, the thing about Haley here, uh, she isn't leaving this site. Those people that are ruining this site don't scare me. I can block them and report them. If anything, they are pathetic because they waste their life being an abominations online. While I actually have one. Oh, a life. That's right, I have a life. While they are harassing people, I would be out with people enjoying stuff like I like doing. I bet they don't even have boyfriends, girlfriends either, either because of how toxic they are. Well, you know, if only our love was as strong as fucking Seymour and you, you know, me and if, if everybody, if all the haters just had some Seymour in their life, then, you know, then, then I think it would all be, it would all be great. Um, so I don't know what the fuck is happening here because the next, the next thing here is from Haley, uh, that fucking bitch, I was using a second account to view this. One of my friends showed me what she did. I want everyone to report this as stolen and vandalized art and have her banned. So I don't know who needs to be banned. This is without context. Uh, the comments here. Even vandalism exists in the drawings? It's vandalism if the person steals your art and ruins the picture with their art and is a toxic piece of garbage. No, XD. Yeah, I'm gonna go with no XD. Um, view all replies. And then people are arguing in fucking Spanish or something. Uh, yeah, this guy, okay, so the guy goes no XD. And then this person, okay, this is some stupid shit, never mind. Um, oh, guys, hey, guys. Happy Bisexuality Visible Month. Oh, a happy month. Why is bitch a cube? Does bisexuality make you a cube? I'm very confused now. I don't know. Actually, I don't know. Uh, that's fair. I don't know. Why is the head a cube? I don't like that. Um, so. Oh, good God. So this is a character by um, somebody that I guess they liked the they liked this uh, here. Cassie reference sheet by Cassie Cutie one four five. This is I guess a, a liked image by that that Haley person. Here's the reference sheet for Cassie the Angel. She is a descendant of Cupid and fights the forces of evil. She has star-based powers and healing power as well as other stuff. Cassie can fly normally in her main form, even though her wings are small. Whenever she transforms into her super form, her wings grow bigger. She can also go to different dimensions and interact with other people and places. Please mention me if you draw her. I'd love to see it. Uh, also, if you do draw her, please draw her with... Her wings, the without wings, are just to show what is behind them. Thanks. And, uh, you know, yeah, it shows the, uh, this character here. With and without wings. And, um, I mean, this character is almost, it's like, it's, it's simple. It's kind of simple. But there's enough of this, like, magic glittery star bullshit. And, like, you're supposed to draw the character with the wings, right? So, so, but like with the normal form, I, oh, cause the, I guess with these are like the wings, these little things are supposed to be wings in her normal form. These tiny little puffs of fucking air that look like they're rising. It's just like stink lines from her armpits. Uh, but, but the super form here is where she gets really, real cosmic. I don't really, I, the, the normal form is fine, I guess. It's just the super form. 
You know, I don't know. There's just something very sparkle dog about it. But it's like, it's just on the line where it's like, I don't think it's meant to be a sparkle dog. I think it's just ugly, you know? Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's fine. Um, that's fine. That's Haley and Kitty and I guess a friend of, friend of theirs and, you know, uh, all of the Seymour related action. There's plenty more, uh, Seymour art, I'm sure, where that came from. But, uh, but for now, we'll move along. Um, let me see, two bucks from uh, Aurelius. Uh, always a pleasure, Papa Claw. Well, you know, it's a pleasure having you here. Welcome. Uh, five SGD from John. Spending Friday night high on G Fuel. Don't mind me if I'm acting wonky. Here's something palatable. Batman's Chiropteran family at the shipping wiki. All right, well, again, if this is a wiki thing, it might not be today, but this that sounds interesting. That's, that, could be another th that could be another time, you know. Uh, Batman's... Batman's Chiropteran family. B B Retrieval Mat Mankind's Batman. Um, okay, this is on the shipping wiki. Oh yeah, right, this is the wiki for fucking that kind of shipping. Right, alright. Um, well, that could be its own whole fucking stream, frankly. Uh, it's been two years since, you know, well, I mean, this is nothing too crazy. This is something to maybe look at. I'll look at the shipping wiki, and I'll use this as a jumping-off point. How about that? I'll save this for later. This is a very short... It's just... The whole page is just this. But, you know, there's something there. There's some stuff there. Uh, and, and, and that gets us into the shipping wiki, which looks fun in its own way. So that's cool. Uh, thank you for the suggestion. We're gonna do some, uh, some, just look up some shit now. So that, that's the mode now. We're gonna look up some shit. And we're gonna go into Johnny Test, I think. Because... I haven't thought about Johnny Test in years, but suddenly... I was, like, reminded of it. I was talking to someone, and I'm like, Johnny Test. Oh, yeah. And just Johnny, Johnny Test, baby. Jo Johnny Test, baby. That's so disco. Johnny Test, I used to watch it on TV uh, when it was new. Um, I didn't note it. I didn't notably think that it was much worse than other cartoons at the time. But certainly when you look back on it, it's like it's it is like the brickleberry for kids. It's it's not good. It's not very good. Um, no, nobody got into Johnny Test. I don't think anybody really likes Johnny Test. Well, that's not true. We're on DeviantArt. I'm sure. I'm sure these people love Johnny Test. And there's gonna be probably memes, but um, I guess we'll start with Johnny Test inflation, and we'll work our we'll we'll work our way out around from that. Um, since I did that in the thumbnail, Johnny Test inflation, and uh, view all, you know, popular, uh, mo most recent, most recent. Oh, can't show that. Cannot show that. That is a that is a lady who is lactating. She is got liquid shooting out of her knee it looks like what the fuck is happening there i don't know but i can't show that um so uh let's see here there's a there's a okay what the fuck there is a premium gallery here from somebody named ud983 the gallery is called i can show this i'll show it in a sec the gallery is called E girl pig pen mud ladder mystery box death match and and then the description looks like this and it's a premium thing you see um it's a premium thing uh there's boobs there's cat fight there's cleavage and comedy but the thing is, to get the full experience, we've got whatever's going on here. This is like fan fiction, I guess. I don't know. Whatever's going on here, maybe it's just fan fiction. Maybe all you're really getting is the fan fiction because what you're getting here is a thousand dollars. To unlock this premium gallery and support the artist, unlock for a thousand dollars. So, is that like maybe a little joke? The actual thing is just the fucking description, which is the, the fanfic. And they just set this as like a meme. I don't know. That might be it. 
But that's quite quite a hefty sum. I wonder what you're actually getting behind... Because there appears to be a blurred image. I wonder what the image is. I wonder if that could count as, like, a scam. I don't know. I don't know what counts as a scam anymore. Um, there's a blimpy man here who is doing uh, sexy superhero male inflation. And uh, we can't look at this. We may have already looked at this channel, actually. I think I might have looked at this channel. I think I might have seen this channel. So I can't show this one. Uh, but they're, the guy's into inflation men. Berry boy inflation is uh, is the, the hallmark here. That's what this guy's all about, is berry boy inflation. I'll find, here's one that I can show. I can show this one. So you can find, it's not just berry boys, but it's a lot of, there's a lot of berry boys. There's lads that are turning into berries. And um, there's also quite the, indeed, um, uh, you know, Chuck Tingle type beat a little bit, a little bit. That's super blimp on, on DeviantArt. You want some of that? You want some super blimp. Um, well, that's not really what I was looking for, though. I'm looking for Johnny Test. Um, we've got some kind of a lady here who I can't show. Product Tester Stuck as a Doll. And she is a, I guess, a, a person who's turned into a doll, a lady. Um, and she's got, like, tits you can squeeze. She's got piss in her... Okay. I, I can't show this, but her boot is like a platform boot. And then inside of the platform, like, in the space between the bottom and, like, where the actual shoe is, is, uh, is like piss. There's, like, piss sloshing around. I can't show this because there's tits and like a gigantic puffy vulva, but oh, and there's a fucking uh, a QR code for some reason, but there's like piss or some un unidentified yellow liquid sloshing around in her in her shoes, I guess. So, you know, um, so what's up with that? I I don't know. Um, who's this? Who's this user? Let me check out this channel. This this channel. It's not it's not a channel, I guess. It's an artist. I shouldn't say channel. Gallery. Gallery's got Oh man. Oh, it's one of these fucking people. Okay. Well, we got this. I think I can show this. Yeah, this is fine. Um so, you know, right off the bat. The art is not the best, you know, the face, there's some perspective issues here, and we got these two girls here, right, and don't worry, they're both technically clothed, technically, but we got these two girls here, and they're walking up these stairs, and one of them, she's got her finger here, like, pointed out, and it kind of looks like her arm is just jutting out of her chest because of the perspective, her shoulder looks weird here with the hair, and the face looks, it's like at a weird angle, and the girl here, you know, she she's she's walking. She looks relatively fine, I would say, for the most part, up on the, uh, on this 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 part of it. Um, the 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 older girl, she's got like, I would say, the top of her body looks significantly different than she seems to expand outwards in a way that she wasn't looking that way. Maybe that's the dress. Maybe that's the dress. But the thing is, t speaking of apparel, um, as we get further down here. Uh, we can see, I guess this is the mom, or maybe the older sister, but the mom, or who, the older sister, the caretaker here is, is walking the, the daughter along, presumably, uh, to, to go upstairs, because she's actually had a bit of a potty, uh, incident, and she's, uh, also wearing some kind of fucking crutches, I guess, and she's also standing at this in str insane, strange angle, and now all of a sudden this, this perspective is strange, actually. Because the, cause it looks like she's just walking normally, kind of. But then you see this, and she's, like, doing some kind of a strange fucking crab stance. Uh, and I don't know what's going on here. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, maybe it's, like, multiple sclerosis doll. I don't, I don't know. But, uh, it, you know, there's definitely a diaper going on there. Um, that's not what we looked for, though. We're looking for Johnny Test. Uh, how did... How to chat, how to ch the garters? Is that just a garter? I guess so. I, I guess it's just garters? Uh, okay. It looks kind of, it's, you know what it is, because the leg looks all fucked up, because it's at a weird angle, so I assume it's like some kind of fucking brace or something. 
or like a crutch kind of deal. But no, you're right. It is pretty much just a regular garter thing. Um, let's see. And then we got an, an ABCs of characters this char this person doesn't like. As if I care. As if anybody cares. As if anybody but them actually cares. A lot of inflation. Not a lot of Johnny Test. Uh, I'm getting... I'm getting all sorts of weird literature that I'm not reading currently. Now I'm getting Johnny Test, but not inflation. I guess we're going to have to go away from sorting by most recent because we're trying to get kind of specific but before we do that here's um here's a good image we got a little character here advertising some special pork chips and um and uh some sonic characters here have decided to eat their the the pork chips and uh namely um Namely, Amy and Rouge are, are eating them here, and um, and they uh, come get some special pork chips. When your tummy starts making a barking noise, you win the grand prize. We only ate five bags. How are we this big already? How do I get myself into these situations? Cream, thanks. Hurry up, rabbit. I have to lose this belly. And, um, yeah, you know, that's not going to be helpful. Like, Amy's got to chase after Sonic. Rouge has got to fucking go after treasure, and really, this is not this is not conducive to either occupation, frankly. Uh, you know, if we're following, if there's any kind, I mean, on the other hand, the characters turn into balls, so maybe if they're if they're le if there are if their stomach is already a giant orb, you know, maybe that's actually fine. You know, that's just the way it's supposed to be. Um, and we got stuff like this. Like this is the classic example of an image where I see it, and I'm like. So you've got Johnny Test's sister tickle foot porn. And like, I don't know, this image is so fucking basic that I'm just like, can't you just picture this in your head, basically? Like, you know, it's not like it's particularly great art that's really capturing any fucking angles or nuances or anything. It's just, it's just, it's like, it's the most basic. It's not that ex extremely terrible that it's notable, but it's so middle of the road where I'm like why did you even have to make this you couldn't have just thought of this in your head and that was that was good enough you had to like draw this extremely average image that's just like the most utility this is like this is like you type into an AI what you want and and you get this now you don't need to make art like this anymore you just do it in AI frankly um well that's not inflation Unless her, her feet were inflated. Um, let me go, uh, popular, popular this year. How about that? How about that? Um, I mean, still not as much Johnny Test inflation as I would prefer. Um, we have whatever's going on here. This is apparently something called VR Zilda Luna. Or something. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. But what I can tell you is that this is bad. It's bad. Uh, it's quite it's quite bad. Um, I can tell you that much for free. Um, and now you have one like this. And this is more... This is more my speed, you know. This is what I'm talking about. Where it's like, this is some art, folks. This is some art. The face... The face that, that she's making. I can just imagine her fucking f floating away. You know, in the cartoon sky. Maybe she turns into a, a, a little star in the distance when she disappears like Team Rocket. But she floats away. And maybe Homer Simpson is chasing after her going, It's just a little airborne. It's still good. It's still good. Um, yeah. Get right up, up close with that face. And, you know, the, the crayon art. Very simple art with, like... Was this done with, like, a pen? It looks like, maybe. I don't know if this was pencil, whatever. But very simple art, colored in. I guess maybe it's not crayon. It might be, like, a colored pencil or, like, felt markers. Something like that. But whatever it is, it looks like a five-year-old made it. It was probably made by somebody older than me. Let's take a look. Let's take a look here. This is from 95D Arts. Uh, Deviant for nine years. They're from Argentina. Um, it's Damien. Uh, 
he uploads drawings of video game and anime characters that he's seen and that most caught his attention. He also makes crossover drawings, transformations, specials, etc. Uh, commissions. Um, he will not do nude characters. He will not do inflated babies or gore. Um, so no, no Harlequins then, sadly. I also do not accept negative comments against my art if you do not... Oh, that's cool. I do not accept I do not accept negative comments against my art. If you do not like my art, do not see my drawings or simply get out of my account. Well, why don't you get better? God, that's such a bitch. What a bitch. I'm sorry, but like your art is trash. You look like a fucking baby. You you make baby art. You make baby art. I make art that's terrible and you know I I have never been somebody who could do who could draw something on a paper and make it look good, you know. And I and and if I made something, I don't think it would look significantly worse than this, really. And and yet, you know, this guy just no no. You can't give me any kind of criticism whatsoever. Nothing negative at all. If you don't like it, just 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 don't look at it. Fucking pathetic. I'm sorry. Uh but but uh, this guy does some cool some cool. Alright, he's got 5,000 featured deviations and 9,700, uh, all, all told. All total, over, over 9,000. Um, and uh, he doesn't do nude stuff, so I can just scroll, and we can just scroll infinitely, folks. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna be right back. Well, I'm gonna make fucking sure that I can actually show everything on here. Hang on. Okay. Okay, this is fine. Yeah, zoom. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's all, it's, wow, it's like all like this too. Alright. I'll be right back. And now, uh, a word. Here. Oh, this is perfect, yeah. Alright. And now a word from 95d arts please enjoy and please don't say anything negative in the chat about the art okay it's good it's good stuff it's good stuff i'll be right back enjoy Turn off the song. Turn off the song. Good lord. Good lord. Hello. Um, I hope you're enjoying the art stream, everybody. This is what museums will look like in 2050. 5,000 of these! Yes! Well, no. Featured 5,000. The, the overall, the actual all category, all deviations, is, is 9,700. So it's nearly 10,000. Don't say anything bad about the- Were any of you saying anything bad about the art? Were any of you saying any- God damn it. God damn it. 
God damn it. Imagine drawing multiple of these. Yeah. Chalky milkies. Imagine this being your whole life. Like, this is what you just do. Yeah, it's all masterpieces, right. This is what you do. This is your whole existence. This is your whole, like, you come home, like, uh, you know, charitably, we have to, we'll, we'll, we'll be charitable and assume this is just a hobby for this guy, right? You know? Maybe it's not even the only hobby. You know, maybe the guy's like a fucking youth pastor. He's got a job. He's like, he's, he's volunteering. He's got a family who loves him. But then, I don't know if it's not still weird that you make this and you've made ten, almost 10,000 of these. But we're just being super charitable and assuming that this isn't what this guy gets up and just does every day constantly the whole time. You know, his whole life. Uh, which it, it most likely is. Um... Yeah, there's. I don't know if you saw any of the headless stuff. You've got this girl here has no head. Flo, the 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 insurance lady. She got amputated. Uh, I guess pretty pretty hard. That's that's cool. Um. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So it's still not Johnny Test though. We we were looking for Johnny Test, and there's a bit of Johnny Test. There is some, but it's none of it is that interesting or funny. Um, you know, you can get, like, a little bit of this, you know, a little bit of this going on, you know, if you want, if you want that, um, but it's not that interesting or funny. Um, the uploader here, though, perhaps they would be funny, perhaps this would be, um... There's like Steven Universe shit. There's like pixel shit. Yeah, I don't know. There's like, oh god, Sonic Forces original character recolor shit. Oh god. Um, these like, oh, they're okay. I mean, I can show most of these that I'm looking at, but every now and then there'll be a cock. And you just never know. Yeah, this channel is not this this channel this user is not that interesting. Um, Johnny Test inflation is sadly not really happening, so maybe Johnny Test four will get us more what we're looking for. I mean, there certainly is some, but not that much. So we're gonna do Johnny Test four instead, and this is from there's 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 three of these here. Well, there's more than that, but there's. There's a few. Oh god, what the fuck is this? Oh god. Okay. Um, so... I don't know what the fuck happened in this situation. This seems like a... Just an absolutely horrible clusterfuck of events because you've got... The sister... One of the sisters appears to have turned into like a rabbit, which then vored the other sister who turned into a tomato. Or something. Uh, or that's like the Chinese flag or some shit. I'm really not sure. There's a star on there. But there, that is, mom's gonna freak. So, um, so that's a, that's a real shame. And then you've got, oh, this is a video here. We're almost ready, Susan. Can I, can I show this? Can I even show this? Jesus Christ. It's gonna be fucking naked. No. No, it's not. It's it's not. I can show it. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so they're doing a party. Genetic modifier, right? I mean, like, are you jerking off to this? Is that the idea? There's probably... There's 
fighting. She's a bunny. And now they're gonna fight each other. So the tomato ate her the, in this in this universe. Okay. Susan, you ate me! Oh, oh. Yeah, this has certainly never happened before. Listen to all those vor noises, by the way. You liking the vor noises? Tomato ate my sister and she's screaming for life in the tomato's stomach. That's Is that where is that where I'm supposed to be orgasming? Is where she her she presses her face against the stomach? Okay. What happened? Not mad, just angry. It's like, I mean, you might as well just have had her shoot the sister or stab her or something. I mean, I, realistically, like, as it's just as a concept, it's such a strange, Vor is such a strange concept because it's like, I mean, I guess it's all about be, the, the feeling of being eaten and, and supposedly I've heard people describe it as like, it's the feeling of like being, you know, in the womb again or something like that. It's safe, you're safe and you're warm and blah, blah, blah. But like, this is like explicitly the, the fear of it. And oh my God, my sister, ah, like this, the, 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 the negative, the anxiety element of it. And so I'm left to just assume that, I don't know, it's an element of suffering or something. And it's like, well, why don't you just have them stab each other as a joke, you know? Like if the if the vor is meaningless and it doesn't wind up killing the sister, in this universe, in this the, the, whoever made this in their head canon, you know if the more if the vor is just a oh, funny little accident and then she comes out and it's all fine, then why don't they just a actually just like shoot each other in the face, and just have it be like, no oh, the jokes were pretend the the bullets were pretend they were joke bullets. They were pretend bullets. They weren't real. Rubber bullets. Just have yeah. Just make it be Yakuza Four. It'll be great, you know. Um, but instead, it's Vor, which is just a diff, a slightly different thing that's explicitly just death. But you have to like turn off your brain and go into Coomer mode to just to just accept that. I guess it's supposed to. Oh, and then she eats Johnny Test also. Johnny and the sister are both in the. The tomato now, that's good. Um, so that's that one. And then there's a third image here, which I don't believe is by the same user. Uh, it's not. This is a... It's a real cool image here. Of, um... Well, what appears to be multiple children. Uh, I, if not exclusively all children. Um, you know, she has... Well, no, there's also Goddard down here. But she has vored. Terra ate Jimmy Neutron. I don't know who Terra is. But she's uh, she ate Jimmy Neutron, and snickering looks like you got vor by me, Terra. Colon three, the little rapist woo face, and Johnny Test is just also here looking unamused. Frankly, he just does not look. He he looks like he's seen quite enough of this situation you know and he's he's he he sized up this scenario the moment he walked in here you know god damn it um who is this per cool person da vinci martinez games oh my god chat members we've seen a lot of stupid mario freaks <sighs> more mario adults that's good this person's been around for three years. Don't know how old they are. They, them. I am the one who makes character builders, fan art, and more. Before you can use my character builders, click the image into your desktop and give credit to me. Here are the rules. I do requests. I do commissions sometimes. Don't tell me to rush. Do not make any hate art about me. 
If you use my character builders, e.g. Garfield and Odie, please give credit to me. Um, if you say rude comments, uh, e.g. swearing, bullying, stealing, etc. Stealing. Everybody. It's amazing how the concept of stealing my OC has, like, persisted. This... Just... The, I, like, the fact that there ever was this thing that everybody was just able to just, like... No, it's mine! That Sonic character that's just Sonic, but with red in his quills a little bit? And, like, a scar? That's that's mine! That's my original character! You're stealing! How could you steal him from me? D just the fact that anybody ever had that br that in their brain is dumb. But... The fact that it's persisted all these years and there's still just people on DeviantArt who are like, Don't steal my OCs, bro! My has-been hotel five nights at Funkin' OC. Um, and then this person also appears to be working on a strike system. Because I guess if you, uh... Well, if your, co your comment will be deleted if you say rude comments. But... But, uh... If you do, but if you get three strikes, the final rule is if you get three strikes, you will be blocked. So evidently you can like, you can call him any bullying words you want three times <laughs> before he blocks you. Not that I would ever suggest that you do. Don't, don't harass anybody. But that's what the rules are as he's stating them here. I can show this page. I can. He, he's saying if you say rude comments, bullying, swearing, stealing... Your rude comment will get deleted. But if you get three strikes, you will be blocked. So you can hypothetically do a bullying, a swearing, and a stealing, and then get blocked. You know? And that's the real trifecta, I guess. Um, but I don't know what there really is to steal here. Da Vinci Martinez Games. Protector of the Uvoria world. I just noticed that, by the way. The world, the, the, the fantasy world is called the Uvoria world. Is that like euphoria or is that incidental? Is it just is it just meant to be vor? Is it it's a utopia for fucking vor. That's what it is. Um and um yeah, we get these character builder things that people use and I don't know. I, this is to make like a rant sona, I guess. Something like that. Uh and there's all sorts of these. There's all sorts of these character builders. And what's funny about this, oh god, oh this is kind of uncomfortable. Um, so this is almost definitely an adult, I would assume this is at least a young adult. Um, and so what's alarming about this, you see, well I'm going to show you some different um, images here, and I just want you to... You know, just just show me if you have, uh, tell me if you have any idea of the theme as I show these to you. Um, and these are all character creators, so you can use these to like put together a character based on like some some sprite. It's like a sprite sheet or whatever that kind of thing. Um, so here we have this little baby who's been inflated to look like a freak, and um, and that's super cool. And then you have. Uh, this little child who's been inflated, um, and this is also a little girl, it looks like. And then you have Garfield over here, and Garfield's just fine. Garfield, totally normal. Uh, it's no no problem here. Uh, it's just Garfield, no vor. Uh, no, you know, just there's different tails, there's different facial animations, all that sort of thing. We got an Odie here too, nothing weird about that. And then here's Tara Jansen, and she um, has special underwear for her vor. This uh, this little like toddler character, uh, and that's that's just that's just tops. Here's James though, and James is fine. He doesn't get any vor. Uh, he doesn't get any vor or inflation or anything. None of that. No inflation for him. No no vor. But he also just has just a few different preset you know things that you can do here. Um, uh, here's Chucky from uh, from from the Rugrats. Uh, not also not inflated, not inflated, not an inflated Chucky here. Uh, but you know, uh, definitely like a sprite sheet. And then finally, we've got Lloyd the alien here. 
also not inflated. And, um, and y y you may also already be able to pick up on uh, what precisely the theme here is. Uh, get rid of Chucky, yeah. Yes! Ah, oh, Gurcake's got it. It's only the little girls, yes. Uh, it's, it's exclusively the little girls that are Vor, uh, inflation characters. The little, uh, boy alien, the Chucky, the James, the Odie, the Garfield. You could maybe say, oh, Odie and Garfield, and maybe even the alien guy, uh, Lloyd here. Maybe that's because they're aliens, they're, they're animals, they're whatever. But James and Chucky, why are they not Vor? Why are they not inflation? Oh, it's because it's specifically a weird sex thing. Because it's not just like an expression of myself and who I am and my 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 art my artistic passion and blah blah blah. No, it's just it's just a weird sex thing. You just want to fuck the inflated versions of the little girls. Um, and the other characters are unrelated to that. Um, allegedly, I suppose allegedly, but that's what it certainly looks like. And um, yeah, it's just a real interesting pattern you notice there. And there's so many more of these. You've got. Uh, what character is this? It's, uh... Oh, yes, the life and times of Juniper Lee. You can get her inflated. Nice and inflated there. Um... You can get, um... You can get, uh... Uh... Strawberry Shortcake and Friends inflated. No Patrick inflation. You know, we were looking for Johnny Test inflation. And we didn't find it, motherfuckers, because there's no Johnny Test inflation here. Um, uh, uh, but there sure, there sure was, there sure is probably inflation of Johnny Test's sisters if I look far enough. Um, yeah. So this is the character sheet thing. Um, but there's so much more on this on this page. There's uh, other character builders, video game character builders, backgrounds. Guide to Vor comic. What is this? Can I read this? What the fuck is this? Let me see. Guide to Vor. Can I? Okay. All right. Part one. Here's the guide to Vor, everybody. And uh, this is good. We've got a real childlike kind of innocence here. Hi, Garfield. I love to play tag. Do you? I do. I enjoy playing tag with Odie. What's your favorite snack? This is how normal people talk. This is on par with, Wanna be my friend? This is this is an, probably an adult who made this. Um, oh no. And it turns out her favorite snack is uh, evidently Garfield because she is going in without consent. No consent needed. She's taking Garfield for a spin. She's going to take him for a ride. She burps. She erps. That's why. Wait, that's why? What? Wait, what? what's why? I love to play tag. Do you? I do. I enjoy playing tag. What's your favorite snack? And then he doesn't say anything else, and then she goes, that's why. I mean, maybe that's like saying and how. Like, technically, those words don't mean anything together, but if you say it, you know, and how does mean something. So that's, that's why! Like, that, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I think that's just, I think that makes no fucking sense. Oh dear, Danny. And, um, the word vor describes belly expansion, uh, via the consumption of living beings. And, uh, and this is, uh, Ziggy, help! And there's Ziggy, I guess. Z dear Ziggy, he's your super pal. And, uh, and Garfield is trapped in there. And she sure looks okay with what she's done. She sure looks okay with what she's done. Um. So I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh. Hmm. I do like chocolate milk, though. Um. And that's, uh, Ziggy's guard Guide Part 1, by the way. That's just part one. Um, we've also got um, Ben 10 over here. Um, Benthony Tenderson. 
and he's talking to uh, he's talking to uh, hello hello kitty. And he doesn't even hello kitty doesn't even wait to say hello. Hello kitty doesn't even want to say hello, and neither does Ben. Ben doesn't even get the chance. He's been eaten. He has been et. Ben's calling for Gwen. Gwen's not gonna hear you. The happy Hello Kitty cat is gotcha. Oh man, this is fucking. This is cursed. The like body of the Hello Kitty that grows, and it's like got these weird stubby fucking legs. It's got like underwear on. And um, you're right, Ziggy. Vor is fetish where somebody's swallowing somebody else. Oh good, there's broken English too. They swallowed the language as well as the person. Um, and Ziggy just fucking leaves. And Ben does not look very happy with that, frankly. Wait, were there other... Oh, there were other panels. Hang on, there were other panels. We missed part of the story. Well, she still doesn't ask questions before she vores him, and he doesn't say anything first. But also Ziggy says, let's put those together. You'll have a feeling about excitement or happiness for fun. Oh, wait, no, hang on. Hang on. This doesn't make more sense. You know, we missed a panel or two, and there, I, was, I was a little confused, and now I'm reading it, and nope, it does, this doesn't make more sense. This is uh, this is just as this is just as incomprehensible. Actually, it's actually it's more. Put put those together. What does that mean? You'll have a feeling about excitement or happiness for fun. This is like reading the back of a fucking pop station. This is like reading you you buy a, a, a generic toy fireman at the dollar store and it says like super action for fun ex exploding learning times for children and clergy or something. Um, that's Ziggy's guide part two. I don't think we need the rest of the guide. It's basically that. Um, Euvoria collection though. We've got a full collection over here of Vor related situations here's a day oh my god oh my god this is from this year everybody this is you know we recently passed uh september 11th 9 11 uh 2023 and um you know frankly never forget ladies and gentlemen just never forget all of our friends and families were killed well, now, what does this even mean? All of them were killed at the Trade Center? All of them. It says, all of our friends and families were killed at the World Trade Center on September 11th, 2001. Is that so? All of them? Sorry, I just... Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, those images. Right. Where did those come from? Um, all of them died. That's a real shame. All of... All of everybody you knew died in that situation man were you the were you the target man maybe the whole thing was just a targeted attack to make you feel bad um we can never forget what happened 22 years ago on september 11th that made everyone sad sorry let me just um we can never forget what happened 22 years ago on September 11th that made everyone sad. The Twin Towers were destroyed- were been destroyed by two hijacked planes that crashed into the buildings. Over 3,000 families and friends were killed during the attack. Even the police and firefighters sacrificed themselves to save others from the attack as best they could. Their sacrifices, we are not in vain. We can never forget them. We shall stand tall and honor them and their sacrifices. And I decided to make a 9-11 tribute with KND members and Garfield and his friends. Never forget 9-11. And um, yeah, all of the all of the credit there. That's cool. Um, that, that's, that's good. Um, We'll never forget everybody, but the first one that caught my eye here was actually this one right next to it, which um, I'm really enjoying because, well, not only do we have Mondo Vor, I mean, there's plenty of Vor here. There's all sorts of Vor. There's Ashley Vor. There's fucking 
Tails vor. Tails is the one who the the one male doing any voring. Tails is the only one that's male that's doing that's doing the vor. So that's weird. But Tails is voring one of the kids next door, and uh, there's 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 some other there's some horrible Sonic recolors here, which really caught my eye. Right in the middle, you've got this collection of like five of these, just the worst Sonic recolors you've ever seen. They look like somehow it's like it's the same thing with nfts or whatever where it's like in the quest for individuality you know the 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 thing of like i want my character to look different and so they all just look the same basically and just like yeah my character has purple and blue and mine has pink and it's just they all look the same somehow um but then you've got a home star runner there's a rocky or is that a bullwinkle the other one's over here and a penguin. There's a fucking Saitama, I think that is. There's a Ben 10 chilling out with his dad, Mario, and his uncle, Luigi. There's all sorts of stuff. You know, this is a real Quickville moment, really. And if you, uh, if you, if you uh, read down here. Um, finally, after min twos of making this, of this picture, I decided to upload the park one. Finally, after minutes of making this picture, I decided to, so it took you whole minutes, huh? Wow. Wow. Well, don't, don't, don't strain yourself too bad. Let's all go to the park. Let's go have some fun. Then we say what we say. Have some fun. Picnic. Playing and getting snacks. I made this one. So, uh, me, Daniel, and Ben Tennyson are watching my favorite characters enjoying the park, right? So why not bring them to the park while each bringing some puffles, right? Oh yeah, as bonus, I added some details on the green puffle. Oh, is it this fucking thing? These little things? There's two. There's two of them. You think they'd be all over the ca the the thing if there were if they were important? There's more s weird Sonic OCs than there are puffles, but but okay. Um. And yeah, a whole list of everybody that's credited. You got Ruby Gloom, you got Moon Scoop, you know, and there's a bunch of builders that were all made by people. So you can just copy paste your fucking Rocky and Bullwinkle characters into someone's Vor stomach if you want. Uh, that's really cool. Um, let's see here. Oh man. Looking up Charles Martinet might be funny, because thank you so much for to bring in Mario to life. I'm Charles Martinet, brining. He really brined Mario for a long time, like a good pickle. Um, that's good. That's good. Looking up Charles Martinet, maybe. Um, we got more more inflation here. I mean, you would almost forget that this was the guy who was really into, like, little baby inflation or whatever. Um, happy birthday to me! And him, I guess, is this blue Mario. Or blue Luigi, I guess. That's him. We got another, like, Mario adult Mario recolor. There's, like... I, which is this the is this the Cosby show the one with the little the little kid that Cosby was or is this like unrelated I think that's unrelated didn't he have like a, a kids show at some point uh but there's M&Ms there's Spunk there's Jim there's Bob you're really I wonder how old you are what's your birth what's your what's your birthday what's your age gender birthday special pick 2003 uh, and this is from 2023. This is from July 18th. He is indeed now 20. He's indeed now 20. And I don't know what 2003 means. If that means this is intended to be like a throwback to 2003 maybe. And like things you watched back then. Because it, it seems like the whole channel is that. I mean the whole... Everything you do is like some kind of cartoon throwback to nostalgia. So I don't know. Maybe he just meant 2023. 
but it is indeed his 20th birthday as of July 18th, and uh, he still really wants... He's 20 years old, and he's still really into this. 20 years old, everybody. Here. Happy birthday to him! He's now 20 today. Here's another happy birthday image that he made. And that's about enough of that character. How about enough? How about how about how about no on this guy? We'll move on from this guy. We're we're good on this guy. That's is this is da, da Vinci Martinez Games, and he's the protector of the Euvoria world. Um. So I think that's fine. We're good on Vor now. We're we're good on Vor. Uh, maybe we're good on Johnny Test even, but frankly, we've been looking up Johnny Test and just getting other stuff anyway, so if we happen to incidentally get Johnny Test, maybe that's fine. Uh, what do we search for now? We've done Inflation and Vor, both kind of connected. What, what, what's the new thing? What's the new thing? Oh yeah, get some Chris Hansen in there, that's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, we've had our fill of Vor. So have the people that have been Vored, probably. Um... Bluey? No, no, no. We're doing Johnny Test, but what's the... Weight gain is already basically inflation. Feet. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Well... Johnny Test appears to be a show that has caused people some trouble. Because, uh, indeed, when you look up... Oh no, this is all one guy. Okay, never mind, that's what it is. I thought this was like a situation. Um, no. When you look up Johnny Test... No, never mind, there are a few people. This is actually, this is a situation a little bit. Because there's at least two people here. Um... This image is not related to um, any of the other images that we're going to see. This is Johnny Test holding up his two, sister, his two sisters by the feet for some reason. Or really by the ankles. Her by the calf, kind of. And then the rest of these, we've got Susan Test's toes. Susan and Mary Test's toes. Susan tests ticklish toes. And yeah, it's like a slow-mo on... I guess this is from... This is what happened, is what I mean is like... This show caused some problems for people, I think. Because this is like a totally spies moment. Where I think these... There was an episode where these girls got their feet tickled. And this fucking woke some things up for a lot of people. And so now we have this. So now, as a result of that, we now have this. Um... Susan and Mary tests foot. Um, how's that tickle your fancy? And she's got her set signed up, set up on a on a thing here. Susan tests feet. Episode Johnny versus the tickler. And then finally, Susan and Mary tests shoes and socks and feet. Please touch modify shoes. Please to touch the shoes. Please touch my modify shoes. Please Princess Daisy and Susan Test and Mary Test and Princess Peach and Rosalina and Rosette and Bowsette. Please touch modify shoes. Um, <clears throat> you gotta touch those shoes, man. You gotta touch those modify shoes. You know, Marco asked. A, Marco asked, and we just would not deliver. And now this is the fucking. This is the result of that. This is the result of that. So yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, there's a not insignificant number of different people who seem to be into Johnny Test sisters um and their feet. Like I mean, like it's not exclusively this one guy. It's mostly this one guy. And there's going to be feet stuff for everybody, for any character, really. Um so I think you can mostly just attribute it to this guy, Jerry Bonds, 1995, who I would assume is 27 years old or, or somewhere close to it, somewhere around there. Um, 5,000 featured deviations, 7,083 deviations overall. 
and uh, it is indeed a lot of different images of cartoon girls with feet. Um, namely children. Uh, but not, you know, not exclusively. There's Lois Griffin feet. There's Timmy Turner's mom feet. Uh, but then there's also just a whole lot of Loud House feet. And, um, this one. And, yeah, Caillou's mom feet over here, but she's like a, a Simpson. So is Lois. That's cool. I don't know why they made them those two characters into Simpsons. But lots of good feet. Lots of good feet. And so there's, uh, this is Jerry Bonds, 1995, really into feet. Also really into racing games, you know, the open road. Pedal to the metal is what he says, you know, that's what the foot, that's what he's all, that's why he's all about the foot is because you can't operate a car without, you know, pumping that fucking, those, those fucking pedals, you know. This guy probably is a pedal pumper. If you're familiar with that subculture. The genre, the, the genre of fetish. Where people um, <clears throat> are really into watching women, like, take off their shoes and, and step on the gas pedal or something. Um, so he's probably, he probably really wants, like, princess rarity celestia to fucking step on him like he like like she steps on the gas pedal um oh yeah and then you get and then you get the real good stuff here you get stuff like this going on here and i think that's just quite enough of that that's just quite enough of that um quite enough of that but he isn't the only person who's doing johnny test foot foot stuff johnny test foot fungus he's not the only person there was, of course, this person from earlier, which we looked at, which, like, again, this this type of art is just, it's just so basic that I'm like, wow, you really could have just imagined it in your brain, and you, re like, could that not have just sufficed? You needed to actually spend, like, five whole minutes making this. God forbid it took longer. Um, I mean, if you imagined it in your brain, it probably wouldn't have, wouldn't have the fucked up perspective. Uh... Yeah, there's a lot of foot stuff. Oh, you know, here here you go. I mean, this is what we're really after here. When you look up Johnny Test Feet, this is what you're going for here. Um, from Dragon Feet 215 or whatever the fuck. Um, and I think I'm good on Johnny Test Feet for now. Uh, but perhaps I'll come back to this well at another time. You know, I might need more Johnny Test Feet in my life. Um... I think I'll do it. Uh, I think I'll call it there on DeviantArt. I think I'll call it there on DeviantArt. We've been going for a little while. Uh, and I would like to do some... We're not going to be... We're gonna, the stream's not going to be quite as super long as the, the, the last few that I've been doing. I would like to try to fucking have a nap today or something. Because I've been fucking busy and tired and busy and tired. And then when I'm sleeping, I'm still tired. So that's great. Um... So, so, so we're going to call it on DeviantArt. We're going to continue, though. We're going to do some uh, Control-Alt-Delete stuff here. And, uh, Control-Alt-Delete. If you were not here last time, I don't remember where we left off uh, on Control-Alt-Delete. Is it, do I have it saved? I might have it saved somewhere. Man, I gotta do Worth It or Woke again, the the Red Pilled Movie Reviews website. I do have it saved here. Oh god, I'm really not looking forward to this. I don't know why I wanted to do more fucking Control-Alt-Delete. Apparently we're in 20th anniversary mode for Control-Alt-Delete. So many fucking words! So the last time we listened, we uh, read Control Alt Delete. As I said at the start of the stream, we were uh, it was we were dealing with the aftermath of Lila's fucking uh, fucking uh, uh, miscarriage, and Ethan is not handling it well, and he's making it about himself, and he's um, most of the comics aren't funny. They have not been funny, and when they've tried to be, they've like, they've been trying to be less than usual, less than you would assume for a comedy comic, you know, uh, about gamers to, to be trying to be funny. It's doing that less than you would assume this comic would. 
without, I mean, you know, with knowing about loss and everything, this is the lead up to that. This is the follow up to that, rather. Uh, but still, in the follow up to that, less comedy than you might expect. Less co- You know, the miscarriage wasn't as funny as you'd expect. Um, well, that's not true. The actual miscarriage was hilarious. There was the miscarriage heard around the world, but but the, the Tim Buckley uh, experience is reading these comics that have, like, basically no joke and just hundreds and hundreds of fucking words, and it's suffocating with how many fucking words there are. Lila, hi, I'm home. How are you? Good? That's good. I'm good, too. So, did anyone call or stop by that I should know about? What? What's going on? What's the matter with you? Did something happen at work? Uh, well, here's the thing. Oh, yeah, he got fired. That's right. Ethan, you... D Ethan, did you get fired? Are you serious? God, are you ever going to grow up? What are you doing with your life? What? No, it Ethan, nobody likes work, but you have to suck it up and tough it out like everyone else. It's part of being an adult. I didn't get fired. Ah, oh, oh, I'm... Ah, oh, shit, Ethan. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have just assumed. Lately, I just... I can't take... I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm sorry. What was it you wanted to tell me? Well, you did get fired. That's what the joke of this epic comic is. Um, um I was going to tell you. Did you know? Bro escalators don't break. They just become stairs. Yeah, escalators are fascinating. I'm actually reading about them right now. Really? No. Yeah, I mean, this is another, like, the joke would have been funnier if he had just said this, and then this whole other half of, the whole rest of this page could have been left blank if it was just the thing about escalators. It would have been fine. It would have been like the, the, the one Seinfeld episode I mentioned, where Jerry has to, like, sneak a fucking tape out of a woman's answering machine, and George has to distract her. And then he distracts her, and she comes out of the room, and she's like, You had to tell me your father wears sneakers in the pool? And he's like, Don't you think that's weird? Uh, yeah, I mean, this could have been something. But he just needed to suffocate every fucking mo- Every- Every bit of air- Every bit of air in the fucking room is being suffocated with words and word bubbles. It's- It's- This is- this, It's ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. So he got fired. He- He, he can't tell his girlfriend- I mean, his girlfriend is reasonably upset at him for being a, a bitch man. Uh, why did he get fired again? What happened? Oh, yeah. He, they don't like the robot. Um, uh, so, so, is he fired here or did he get fired already? Christian? Okay, no, he quit. Right. He didn't get fired. He quit because, like, this guy showed up. Right, I'm trying to figure- I'm trying to remember what happened. This fucking guy shows up who I guess, like, dated her before him or something. I, I assume that's what I th picked up on. Maybe I'm wrong. But he doesn't like this guy, Christian. Uh, and so he, he, like, runs his job now. So he quits the fucking job. And he can't tell her about that because that's incredibly stupid and embarrassing. So he just- he just like lies. Technically, he is true. He didn't lie. He didn't get fired. He didn't. Um, well, let's see. Lucas. Hey. Okay. See, so his name is Lucas. I'm never going to remember his name is fucking Lucas. Hey, I have a problem. I need to talk to someone about. Lila will freak out, and I can't find Zeke. So that leaves you. Nah, man. I can't. I've got problems of my own right now. Kate and I broke up. What? Are you kidding? You wore the tie, didn't you? Dude, what is with you? What is it with you in relationships? Are you allergic? Hey, she slept with another guy. So? I thought you two weren't exclusive. You know, it's not like she tried to murder you or anything. Maybe if you want a relationship to work, you need to man it up and make it work. There, problem solved. Hey, where do you think you're going? What about my problem? Like... I don't know if there's ever a point in this comic where e the Ethan character stops being such a piece of shit. I don't know if there's ever a point where he stops being s such a piece of shit. I would assume so. Eventually, he must. But, like, just... Like, it's almost... I rem Every time we do this, it's just constantly... The joke is just that Ethan sucks. 
and that the main character is an unlikable piece of shit who nobody could ever possibly root for unless they are also the asshole throughout their lives. Like, and that's probably what's... It's probably intended, but... But it's just not funny. It's just not funny. He doesn't ever grow. It's just annoying that he's just like this. And it's obnoxious because the people in his lives in, in his life would probably just fucking leave him if he was like this. And would be like, I don't want to be around you where you just turn me breaking up with somebody else into, you know, shut up anyways, my problem. You know, like, fuck off. Uh... And and that's like every fucking comic, and he never really learns any lesson about that, and it's 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 quite frustrating. Uh, Greg Heffley done wrong. Well, it's yeah, it's awful. St Scott Pilgrim. It's like Scott Pilgrim if it was, you know, completely surface level. I guess if it didn't try to be, uh, if it didn't try to be anything more than just. I'm gonna go beat up your exes, haha. It's like if Onision tried to make Scott Pilgrim. Um, I'm not even bothering reading the last thing there. Hi, I'm Shannon, the new manager. You must be Rob? Ethan. Oh, Ethan, sorry. What does Gek stand for? Oh my god, he's doing this fucking thing. He's doing the fucking gamer, like, gatekeep thing, where it's like, she has tits, so... Well, I guess it's not a woman thing, it's just that he's being replaced, so he's like, whoever's replacing me has to be lesser than me, so I have to school them, and ask them about... Like, who would even know some of this shit? Are you fucking kidding me? Call sign for the Spartan in DOA 4? The Spartan? Like in, like in fuck in dead or dead or alive four what? There's like a Halo fucking Spartan what? Is that in is that in the game? Is that like a special bonus fighter, or do you mean like a, a like a Roman fucking centurion motherfucker? And Gek Garden of Eden creation kit yeah where did you first learn that one? Was that Fallout three? Probably. How much wisdom on a charred guardian shield? What even is that? What even is that? Like, if you're gonna do this fucking cringe-ass thing that he's trying to do here, you would think that you would at least pick some fucking references that people would get. Like, okay, I guess you know your stuff. He chose a competent lackey. But he likes her now because she also hates Christian. Um. Buh? Good. Good boy. Um. So why do you work for him then? Oh, the money is good. I have a lot of college loans to pay. Guys, my student debt, am I right? Saints Row 2 2022 is available in stores everywhere, folks. <laughs> my, my student debt. My student debt. <laughs> Smash capitalism. <laughs> yeah, my, my student debt. Student debt. Um. Um, college loans to pay off. Plus, when Christian wants someone working for him, he and the health and he has the health, sorry, wealth and influence to make sure they can't get hired elsewhere. Ugh, he is such a douche. I wish there was some way to get at him, but I've already tried physical violence, and I'm fresh out of ideas. Well, he is vulnerable, you know. Ooh, do tell. Look, I can help you, but I'm not getting directly involved. I don't like Christian, but I don't want to get fired either. Deal. Well, all right. One of Christian's biggest, weak biggest weaknesses is his arrogance. Uh-huh. Of course. So, Christian likes to smell nice, does he? Oh, because the... Really? Fragrance and arrogance? That's your joke? That's the joke? He's so bad at even trying to be funny. Why doesn't he just make it a fucking comic about abortion or whatever the fuck he wants to talk about? Like... Like, he doesn't need to make it funny. He doesn't need to try to make it funny. The whole fucking joke is arrogance, fragrance. Okay, he's so dumb. Hey, Ethan is just so dumb. Have you ever been so fat you look at computer and see food? 
Have you ever been so dumb you look at arrogance and think smell? You could have just made the comic about whatever you wanted it to be. Made it a fantasy, make it a mystery, make it a drama about people living their lives. Make it a, a flawed character study of a horrible person dealing and who, who, who pushes everybody in his life away. If you want to do that, you know, there's a lot of things you could do. There's a lot of paths you could go by. But you chose to make this a weird attempt at being funny, as if people... As if anybody thinks Tim Buckley is funny, right? Like, this is the thing, too, is like, did anybody in his life, when he made this comic, was he just like, Oh, you know, everybody tells me I'm a comedian. They say I'm the funniest guy in my family. Yo, know, I really, they told me I had to make a comic someday, because I gotta share this humor that I have with the world, this gift for with, with the world. Like, is this his passion? Making the worst jokes you've ever fucking seen? I, God. I hope not. I really hope not. Um, so now we have these two, or him and Le Le Lucas and someone. Hey. Hey, yourself. Here alone? Not entirely alone. I got old Jack here. <sighs> You're cute. Wanna buy me a drink? Later. This is me. Thanks for locking me up. You, uh, wanna come in for some hot- Oh, God. Uh, like once I see what the joke is gonna be again, I'm just, it's just, I can't. <sighs> What's so funny? Oh no, there's this video game, lots of controversy, Jack Thompson. It was kind of this big thing. You want to get laid tonight or not? Mm. Uh, I just... Uh, I don't know, man. GTA reference. Laugh. What year was this? 2008. Yeah, September 19th, 2008. Yeah, Hot Coffee was like a three or four year old reference at this point in time. I think. Uh, so that's... That's marvelous. I mean, I suppose it was still relevant for sure. But... God... God, uh, no, 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 don't, don't load it again. Oh, good. Look at all the words. Hello, employee. Hello, prick. Ah, uh, upset about life, about your lot in life, pizza guy. Don't get too down about it. I'm a winner and you're a loser. It's just nature. Christian, Christian, Christian. Deep down, you know, there's nothing you can do that I couldn't do better. And I'll bet it drives you nuts. That's an interesting sense of humor you've got there. Oh yeah? Care to bet it on on it then? Depends on the stakes. Oh my god, I don't care. So yeah, if you win, I'll work for you minimum wage forever. If I win, you give Barry the store back and leave town forever. You both know you're gonna be working at minimum wage, blah blah blah. When I win, deal, deal. There's not a, there's not even a joke here. There's not even really a fucking joke here at all. Uh <clears throat> And yet it's better than the other ones that we've read that actually have a joke. It's, it, it, it comes in at a nothing on the fucking barometric pressure as opposed to, as opposed to like, like just heavy, heavy rage. And why is this happening? Um, oh my God. The backgrounds are like identical too. like, look at this, look at this super cool comic. Look at this amazing visual medium of comics. Oh, comic books. I love comic books. I love how comic books use art to tell a story. Look at all the art that's being used to tell such a story here. Isn't it? Don't you guys like the story that's being told? Great story. So what's the contest? And don't name some video game you've been practicing your entire pathetic life. Yeah, well, we're not having a biggest asshole competition either, so your specialty is out too. <coughs> the fucking jerk store called... No, Game Haven will be the contest. You think you're such a great businessman, but you don't know shit about games. We each run the store for a day, however we want, and I bet that I could turn a higher profit than you. And I'm sure this w wacky hijinks will ensue. Uh, Lucas, I've been calling! Is... is he here? Who? Rick? 
No, Lucas, no, listen. He was not... I don't... I don't want... Look, look here, look, listen! Oh my god, and there's 40 fucking paragraphs of text. And he's gonna uh, forgive her, I guess, and that's cool. Um, he didn't want to be with her because of uh, her. Um, that's great. Great, don't care. Uh, good, uh, back to this. Uh, you were right, he couldn't resist proving he's better than me. The bet is on. Now all you have to do is tank the sales on Christian's day, and I'm guaranteed to win. Uh, Barry will get his store back. Whoa, nuh-uh, not part of the deal. I told you I'd give you advice, but I'm not throwing the competition for you. Uh-huh. Oh, he's got Christian right where he wants him. C christian Whoa, whoa, whoa! How could this happen to me? <sighs> so he's gonna, like, schmoove in on the moves on Lila over here. Christian, what the hell are you doing here? If Ethan sees you, he'll... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Settle down! I was in town, and I heard about what you've been going through lately. I just wanted to stop by and make sure you're doing okay. Christian, I don't know what you're talking about, or what you think you heard, but... Babe, I donated a wing of that hospital. Tax deductible, and all that. Let's just say that there's nothing that goes on in there that I'm not privy to. Look, I just wanted to make sure you're doing all right. I can only imagine how hard it is. Why don't you invite me in for a cup of coffee and we can talk as friends? Um, well, as friends, I guess. Perfect. And, uh, yeah, I mean, God, this is hard to deal with. Like, I just... I'm making the judgment call. I'm making the executive decision now. I'm fucking done with uh, uh, this era of Control-Alt-Delete. Uh, I'm, I'm done with this fucking era of Control-Alt-Delete. This comic is, is miserable. This comic is garbage. Uh, I am jumping back to, let's say, like, 2010. I'm gonna do 20, I'm gonna jump two years ahead. We're gonna jump right past all of whatever the fuck is going on, and we're gonna jump to January of 2010. We're gonna skip, like, at least a full year, more than a year. Of just meaningless, pet, petty, stupid drama that means nothing and is garbage. Um, um, let's see, it's like a video, it's like a, a thing about where video games come from. Page three, so there are probably other ones. In an industry of budget cuts and shareholders, publishers, and bottom lines, many fledgling games will never see, see a store shelf. Those that do, however, reach the most important and glorious day of their existence. New release day. It's journey complete. The game is now ready to venture out into the world, into the waiting arms of a gamer, to be enjoyed. And enjoy your game you do. The anticipation of tearing open the packaging. The new game smell. That first look, that uh, first loading screen. You know, yeah, so it's like a, it's, it's a thing. Um, the need to coordinate. We got some Mass Effect jokes here. Please, human, the collectors, you must save the colony! Joker, come in, we have a situation here. Bring the ship down. Going to use the Normandy to scuttle these colonists to safety or bringing in backup for a fight? Uh, what? Neither. I, I wore winter clothes to a summer planet. I need to change. No, what you saw was cringe. <sighs> Oh, got more fun little non sequiturs not related to the main story. This is General Kochi. You have entered restricted Klingon territory. Turn back or we will open fire. Captain, your defiance is an act of war. This is your last warning. Um. Okay, and so the joke is that it's like a, an MMO, I guess. It's, I think it's like the Star, war, the Star Trek MMO. Uh, game that came out. Uh, he's AFK, and that's the joke. That's good. That's a good joke. That's the joke! Um, oh, there's more of these. These are so funny. This is it, man. This is it! We're all that's left! Aliens got the rest! We may die out here, man! In space! If you die, and I make it, tell him! I'll tell him! I'll tell him you were a hero! Borrow your knife a sec. 
If they, if they get me, uh, if they die, die, I just don't make it out. Just do me one favor. Live, man. Live. Okay, and so, yeah, and the joke is he's got stuff right. That's, it's really, really funny. I mean, like, um, it's, it's just so incredibly unfunny, and I'm left to be like, you know, this is, like, not even the main storyline. At least with that, there's a feeling of, like, I don't know, it le it feels more important in some way. This is just, it feels like a bigger waste of time, somehow. Ugh, Christ. Uh, we got Bioshock. There's a, a big daddy, and he's got a, a glowing arm, and... Yeah, he can't scratch his balls. That's, alright, that's, you know... It didn't make me laugh, but... It's, I could see this, I could see somebody laughing at this ten years ago. Sure. Sure. That's, that one's, you know what, this one, this is fine. This one's fine. This one's fine. Don't have a problem with this one. Didn't make me laugh, but it's not, it's not that bad. Um. Oh, God. Look at this fucking trash. Epic fucking pirate robot ninjas on dinosaurs. Ugh, bacon narwhal. Lay epic Reddit chungus upvote. Ugh. It's fucking disgusting. It's just fucking disgusting. Um, we got some heavy rain here. I'm a private eye. I'm investigating the origami killer. Have you seen this person? And he punches the he punches Germa in the face there. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. It's these vague quick time commands. Is it bleeding? I think I have a tissue. Let me just... And then his, his pants are down, and... It's a game about people. Uh, you know, this is another one that kind of works. This one's fine. I don't know. It's another one that's not making me laugh, but, like... I don't know, ten years ago or whatever, when Heavy Rain was new, I could see when... You know, this is fine. This is an okay one. This is okay. This one's, this one's fine. Could it be that 2010 Tim Buckley is improving? We got a couple in a row that are like okay-ish. Ish. Okay, never mind. Never mind. This one sucks. Um, we got more Star Trek. Finally, I've been cooped up on this bridge with you morons for months. No more. This new patch has added the rest of the ship, and I'm going to explore. So long, fuckers. And then he gets fucked. He gets fucked because the patch day is tomorrow. As if that's how that works. I mean, obviously that's not how that works, but then... I don't really understand why... God, can you imagine spending $15 on the Control-Alt-Delete 1.0 digital book set? You can buy all of these for $15 on sale. All this, all the quality Control-Alt-Delete 1.0. Before the big reboot, I guess. Which I don't know if this has happened yet. I don't know when that was. We got a computer here. Ubisoft's new DRM needs to be in constant contact with your PC. Oh, this is aged. You have 13 new messages. First new message. Yeah, hi, it's me. Don't know why you're not picking up your phone. You should call me. Let me know where you are and who you're with. If it sees you spending any time in a non-Ubisoft game, it flies into a jealous rage, calling and hanging up at all hours of the night. It breaks down in tears when you try to uninstall it. Baby, baby, please! I only do it because I care about you! I can change, I swear! A couple of months later, it tries to weasel its way back into your life attached to a new game. Um, hey, uh, there, I think I, um, maybe I left my toothbrush here. You know, it's a DRM joke. I mean, at least this is about video games. Like, I'll give them this. This one's not funny either, and I wouldn't say this is... I wouldn't say it's as... It's too many words again. I wouldn't say it's as funny as, like, the other ones that I said were okay. But it is better than the average Control-Alt-Delete comic. Because, like... I mean, it's not just a thing where it's, like, this idiot, moron, dipshit character that nobody could ever possibly like unless they're brain damaged. Uh, who just says occasionally, just drops in, like, a fucking reference to some MMO nobody's ever played. From 2006 or whatever. Asheron's Call 2 or, or some shit. Um, which is the way the old series, you know, the way it was before. The way it was, you know, a year prior or whatever. The way the... 
the 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 Ethan stuff goes. But at least here, this is like a you know, it's like a hypothetical kind of like joke scenario based on a thing in in gaming. It's relevant. It's still relevant today, somewhat. I mean, I say it's aged, but it's aged in the sense of like, well, it hasn't aged that much at all. Actually, we're still doing DRM and shit, and like. Fucking 13 years ago, we thought this was a crazy novel concept, uh, and, <clears throat> and everybody was against it then, and they still are, but doesn't change anything. Uh, you know, yeah, this is a, dec a decent comic, uh, overall. Uh, I sure hope the next one isn't... Okay, well, I know we are soon to return to fucking Lila and Ethan. But soon we'll be getting back there. Um, skill versus gear score debate. Which is why I argue that gear score is not an adequate format by which to judge a player. As you can see from my research, a skilled rogue in average gear regularly gets DPSed out by a noob rogue in the best gear. The numbers don't lie, people. My opponent makes a compelling argument, but I feel he's neglecting an entire variable in his research. I have brought with you, with me, some research of my own, which I believe will irrefutably establish. Something and then slash argument e e peen. Oh, and there's it's like a little dick. All right. Well, that's cool. Um, that's I'm sure somebody who played MMOs one who who's ever played MMOs. I say that as if I didn't play fucking fall uh Final Fantasy fourteen up to and into the first expansion. Uh, before deciding that I was not really into Final Fantasy fourteen. But, man, I'm sure if you're into WoW or something, this might get you. Uh, potentially. Eh, uh, StarCraft 2 sucks! I thought we'd agreed you weren't going to sniff the cleaning supplies anymore. I'm serious! I keep getting rushed and destroyed so I don't have time to learn anything! So I keep getting rushed and destroyed! See a pattern here? So the game doesn't suck. You're just trapped in a cynical flowchart of failure. You could always just not play it. Don't be ridiculous. I've been waiting ten years for this game. It could castrate me and kill my parents and I'd still play it. Okay. No comment. Uh, that's fine. Uh, Ethan was back briefly, but now we, we go away here. In the future, everything will be designed like games. With a point system. You'll sit down at breakfast to eat your Cheerios and your cereal box will have a screen and CPU. You'll get points for eating Cheerios... Blah, blah, blah. Um. Banned from Cheerios. I mean, being banned from Cheerios is a funnier concept. The the, the phrase, terms of service, service violation, you're banned from Cheerios, is the only part of this that's funny. Being banned from the concept of Cheerios. I like that. Everything else here is, is bad, though. Um. Oh, uh, I guess this one's fine. You know, anyone where he does it and it's not like words taking up the entire fucking screen. It's fine. I won't complain too much if it's just a normal goddamn comic. And I mean, you know, sometimes comics require a lot of words. Sometimes there's a lot of dialogue to say, but... A lot of the time the characters in his fucking comics don't really actually have all that much to say and the fucking extensive word count is just because he doesn't know how to fucking economically cut some things that don't need to be there. Or not stick to the four panel format, which, you know, is another thing. This one's just a simple three panel. If this was tr if they tried to ruin this, if he ruined this with a fourth panel with a wacky punchline or some shit, then that would have been really unfortunate. Uh, or it would have just been unnecessary and padded out the, the thing. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's, this one's fine. Any one where it isn't 400,000 words on one page, I'm, I'm good with. At first, there was widespread confusion and panic. Nobody, uh, chaos. Nobody knew what was going on. Nobody had answers. As the dust cleared, rage reared its ugly head. A rage so powerful it shook the very ground. The rage bred violence. It drove folks mad. We don't know who dropped the first nuke, but the war that followed was the end of civilization as we know it. And it all started with the great PlayStation 3 blackout of 2010. 
I mean, Lizard Squad, man, they were here, they were after the end of the world. And only a select few at Sony, like Amy Pascal, really knows it. And a few of us outside. You know, I, I read it in a, in a, in a pamphlet. Um, okay, I know we've written off the Halo franchise, but a new trailer for Reach just came out. Are you ready for this? Okay. Wait, it has jetpacks! Oh, cool. Does the trailer show anything else? Whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Are you glossing over jetpacks? I feel like you're glossing. G gee, sorry, I guess maybe I got over jetpack fever when Tribes was out. Uh, over jetpacks? I'm not sure I could be friends with you anymore. Well, there's always Craigslist. White male, want to be one friend, must have jetpack fetish. What passes as a punchline in this comic? Or like, if that's even, if that even counts as a punchline, I don't know if you'd even count that as a punchline. Or if you, if we even fucking divvy a comic like this up into punchlines, if you even can. Like, set up and punchline like it's normal, real comedy. The fucking punchlines in this are like random throwaway dialogue in a better thing. Like the big, the, they were supposed to really take it home and get me laughing with the, oh, want to buy one male, f one friend, must have jetpack fetish, you know? Um, and like they really probably thought that that would be funny. I say they, Tim, Tim Buckley really probably thought that that would be funny. But, I just... God, this whole fucking comic is sh such shit. God. Oh, and now we do this fucking thing where he replaces the cast for a little bit with these, like, weird uh, number people who are, like, trying to kill each other, I guess. I don't know what the fucking deal is with this or why this is here or what purpose it serves, but... Hey, are you eating the last of the chicken salad? Uh, back up! You stay away from me! Huh? Why? Right! Like you're not gonna m try to murder me in some horrible way just because I ate the last sandwich! Man, I don't even like chicken salad. Two is looking for it, though. Mm, we got him there. I mean, this one's fine-ish. I mean, again, none of these are really making me laugh. The most I got out of this was like a brief little, huh, at the one of the heavy rain ones. But this is like... I don't know, at least it doesn't feel like they've wasted one of the panels, or like, one of the panels is just unnecessary kind of thing. Which I said before, like, that feels, that's, that's an off, an, often an issue with Tim Buckley, is the feeling like the, the panels are just, like, because it's a four panel grid usually. Like, oftentimes there will only be maybe two panels worth of content, or even just one panel. Or even just, you know, one, or even just, you know, three panels of content, but, you know, there's one that's just padding. That, that's, like, not, that doesn't need to be there. This one seems fine. This one is, like, pa paced effectively, I'd say. It's not funny, but it's, like, at least it's not pissing me off, I guess. Oh, God. Final Fantasy thirteen and Control-Alt-Delete? Well, speaking of pissing me off... some chocolate milk. Okay, I brought home a copy of Final Fantasy 13. Gimme! Not so fast. I might have said Final Fantasy 8, which is also not a great game, but it is better than 13. Um, I know I'm about to lose you to a Final Fantasy game, and I'd like, and I know how long they last, so I'd like you to sign this contract in duplicate, please. What's it for? Basically, it says that every time you use a phoenix down, you agree to show me boobs. Are you serious? Is this really necessary? Hey, left unchecked, this game threatens to take away my PS3 and our sex life for at least the next month. We could negotiate for sharing of the console if you'd prefer. Boobs it is, then. Wow, this is... At an era when anybody thought that they would be spending that much time playing Final Fantasy Thirteen. Jesus Christ. Yeah... Uh, 
God, I I mean, I don't know what the chances are. I'm assuming by this point that the dude's probably married. Tim Buckley, he's probably married, he's probably got kids, whatever. He's, you know, he's he's probably got it going on to some extent. But, like, the funniest thing ever is to just imagine that this is, like, some kind of, you know, self-insert fan fiction. Where Tim Buckley more or less just wrote himself in a beautiful dream girl who is perfect for him. And, uh, you know, who will show him boobs when she dies or, or something. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, it's just, it's, fu it's funny to picture him just being, like, sitting hunched over alone in a, in a room, like, yeah, that's what she would say. Mm and doing that kind of thing but you know it's like basically a deviant art person but on a grand scale and that's and that's that's control alt delete um so yeah they're definitely going to take up the whole fucking 3 PS3 for months playing uh, playing fucking f you know Final Fantasy 13 is the control alt delete of a video game so it makes sense i don't even know what that means uh, it really isn't the PlayStation move i mean really because you move it I see what you did there, Sony. I'll bet you could just feel the shockwave of envy that tore through the market community over that one. Marketing. Microsoft is freaking out. Oh my god, I can't believe we didn't think of that. Should have called ourselves the 360, the Xbox sit. Steve Jobs is all pissed because they went with iPod instead of the Apple listen. And he kicks a small animal in frustration. This ranting has made me hungry. I'm taking my break. Maybe I'll hop in my Toyota drive and go get a burger with... Uh, and... Maybe I'll hop in my Toyota drive and go get a Burger King eat with fries. Oh, get, oh right, cause you cause you move it. it. Yeah. So 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 you drive a car, so it would be a Toyota drive. I could see a car being called a Toyota drive, like that's just the real name of a car. I'm surprised there's none that call that have called themselves that, frankly. Um. So, another completely garbagey comic. He has left the station. Just pick something already. I want to get going. Nah, this is all junk. I don't like any of this stuff. What? If you're not going to buy something, why do you have been just standing here for the last 20 minutes? I'm waiting for the vending machine to get new inventory. I'd have a good item of the day. Right. I'm leaving. Good luck finding a vi vehicle spawn station. Any minute. Oh. MY LIFE IS LIKE A VIDEO GAME! He's still just trying to collect coins. He's just all the while, he's still collecting coins, chat. You know, his life is like a video game. And what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna whine and moan? His life is like a video game. Thank you. Fuck. Vehicle spawn station. Uh, we got Kratos, and he's scowling, Sc scorn, scowl three, the scowling, right. So scowling scornfully over here. Ugh. Ugh, the words. There's not even that many compared to some of these fucking things. So, Rory called last night. Uh, apparently, the investigation looks like it's getting a swept under the rug. Upcoming election, avoiding rumors, etc., etc. Wow, it looks like he'll he's still going to lose his bar, though. Oh, that sucks. Is he upset? He seemed pretty pissed, but he says he understands why I did it. My parents... Towards approval. So there's a joke here about his parents not approving of him. Without any of the context about what the fuck is happening in this fucking comic, my brain glazes over. And I'm like, wait, no, hang on, but wait, what is happening? And it's like, it's easy to for, to lose sight of that and what is actually going on. And uh, whatever it is, isn't good. Um, it isn't funny. It isn't interesting. It's like a terrible, terrible soap opera. My name is Paulo Santosi. I'm the leader of the Reapers. Oh, it's the fucking Just Cause 2. I hear you're looking for some able-bodied comrades. You know, he's the best. Go cause chaos. And then we got like Jeff Goldblum. Oh, 
Jeff Goldblum memes from like 13 years ago. How about that? Tis a glorious day, my friend, for The Witcher 2 hath been officially revealed. You didn't even finish the first game. Precisely. I may never finish games, and I always say, well, I'll get around to it someday. But someday is too infinite, too vague. An upcoming sequel st stamps expiration dates on that someday. I have to finish the same... Uh, I have to finish the game before the, the sequel arrives. The sequel is the great motivator. Oh, so you're gonna, like, force your way through the... Uh, I guess if that's the way you fucking work, but, man. You also just not play the first game, I guess. I don't know, man. I mean, this is... Hang on. This is so miserable, this fucking comic. And if I go back... If I go back to... What is this? This is March? We're into March already? Oh, man, we really fucking sped along in 2010. Damn. Yeah, he, like, he updated a bit in 2010. What's happening by 20... by December? Basically the same shit. It's just the same shit. It's just the same shit. It's the same four-panel madness, and I'm losing my mind... And we aren't even to the part of the comic yet where it goes fucking edgy and ridiculous. We aren't even to the part of the comic yet with Fortnite rules, Last Man Standing survives the school shooting. We're not even there yet. We are not even there yet. And there's so much more to go. But I don't think it's going to happen to be to, today. Anus? Beach? What the fuck is happening? I don't know, man. I don't think it's going to happen today. I'm getting tired. I'm getting, I'm getting sleepy. Fucking, I was already like, man, I want to have a nap today. And now reading fucking Control-Alt-Delete is like, is like driving me into a coma. Fucking reading this, this, this insipid shit. And I'm going to do more. We're doing more. But whenever I come back, we're skipping all of the fucking boring Ethan and Lila shit. We are jumping straight into whenever it becomes, because there's a period around like, whenever I was on 4chan back in the day, in like 20, well, I want to say like 2010 through 2014 ish. There was a period around there where the comic becomes like a resistance sci fi story and it stops being funny and it starts being about like terrorism and explosions and like computers taking over the fucking world or something. I don't even remember. I think the Xbox friend. Who, who's like Zeke or whatever, I think he takes over the fucking world or something. And it gets really edgy and stupid. It's like loss as a whole comic. So we're gonna do that next time. Whenever we do Control-Alt-Delete again, we're gonna skip over all of this fucking eyes glaze over webcomic 2010s hell. Late 2000s hell. And we're just gonna jump into the next phase of things where he, you know... Where he tries, where he tries to do something a little different. He tries to make it like an action comic with a story, and I think that's going to be real interesting. So stick around for whenever that is. Next time we do Control-Alt-Delete, I think it'll be potentially the best time, outside of just looking at the, the loss. The, the loss comic in and of itself is funny, but everything surrounding it is miserable. And the only time it really the comic really starts to get funny is once it... Once they get real fucking edgy and stupid. And so when they stoop it up, when they stoop it up, and they and it gets all stoop, then then then, then we'll really have something. Um So I got a couple of super chats here. Just a few uh, a few more here. Um Let me see here. Five bucks from HG Mick Cartoons. Of all the horrible shit we've seen on this channel, from Adobe pedophiles to uh, Adobe PDF files, yeah, to poopy poo poo, please God, no Johnny test, please no. Well, the Johnny test was forced upon you, I'm afraid, but I think we had a good time with it. I think we rolled with the Johnny test pretty well. Uh, two bucks from Dr. Grubius. Online Damien's always ruin it for the rest of us. Oh, man. You know, it's, a, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Um, you know... There's always there's always gonna be that person you 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 encounter whose name is your name and you're like man you 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 really are bringing a bad name to all of us out there 
And that's, uh, I've, I've heard people say that to me. I've heard people say that about people I've covered before. And I've felt that way too, so, yeah. Um, 5SGD from John, who needs deviant art. Time for canon inflation. Look up Lilo and Stitch French Fry. Sorry in advance. Well, why are you so into Lilo and Stitch? French Fry. Why are you so into Lilo and Stitch? French Fry is like an episode. Okay, it's an episode. Yeah, so you mean canon inflation. Like it actually, there was actual inflation in that episode, I guess. I see. Okay. Um, well, you know, I remember Lilo and Stitch. I don't remember the inflation episode uh, of that show. It was a TV, it was a movie and then a TV show, I think, right? And then I, I mostly watched the TV show, I think. Um, Ten bucks from Heavy Artillery Bot. I love looking at the most recent tab on DeviantArt with my friends. These types of streams are my favorite to watch. Oh, most recent tab is always good. And I mean, by this point, with the stuff I've looked at on DeviantArt, I've mentioned before, I didn't look at it today. But I, because I didn't see anything today, but I mentioned before that frequently when I open up DeviantArt, I will, uh, I will see on my page, like, this is what's recommended to you. And it'll just be the most fucking heinous, duplicitous, insane shit. Like, and, and, just like, you, oftentimes it'll be like a blurry photo of some bald guy, like, winking at the camera or something, like, some weird shit. You know, just some insane shit. And, uh, and it's stuff usually where I'm like, how do, what did I even click on that got you, that got you recommending this to me, DeviantArt? I, I don't know, but it happens sometimes, so thank you. Two bucks from Dr. Grubius, inflation NFTs, you know? You know, the, 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 the inflation on, on planet Mobius in Sonic's universe is actually a really interesting point of contention because they actually have a whole thing about that in the Sonic lore Bible. You have to look up Sonic inflation on um on google for that it's best if you do it on deviantart with uh, with safe search off but um yeah there's actually a whole bunch of lore in the the sonic canon about the about sonic inflation um two pounds from niall scott if you like i could make a claw bear inflation well you if you'd like you can i'm not going to acknowledge it or look at it um uh, that's uh thank you Bar Bararus with five dollars. Hey, Claw, love the streams. My friend Sexy Woman, with an E instead of a U, so Sexy Woman, on Bandcamp made a funky cover of the Johnny Test theme song. Oh, well, I mean that's that's cool. If you need some funky John, I don't even remember what the fucking Johnny Test theme song sounds like. What we need is shoegaze. What's with me? What what about Mimi? I mean, we need shoegaze. What about Mimi? Or what's with Andy is another one. Actually, we could do like a reggae, maybe like a dub, dub remix of what's with Andy. You know, uh, five bucks from Kate. The sad part is that there are a lot of people like Ethan's character. Well, yeah, I mean Ethan's character is sort of the comic version. It's like a character like Homer Simpson who's just such an idiot that you can't take him seriously and it's like you kind of know somebody who is almost this stupid but not fully this stupid. It's like that except Homer Simpson's, I mean even when he's like jerk-ass Homer, he's still lovable Homer Simpson and he's funny and he, he's got a funny voice and everything. Uh, and Ethan doesn't have either of those going for him. He's not lovable, he's not funny, he doesn't have, I don't remember the fucking animated series so he doesn't have a funny voice. Or anything. He doesn't have Dan Castellaneta doing voice talent. Um, he doesn't have anything going for him. Whereas a character like Homer, who's also a fuck up and comedically, stupidly, like unable to do anything and stupidly, like uh, un unempathetic and and like you know, it's it's like don't don't think for a second that I don't get that the joke is that he's an awful piece of shit and that that's part of the comedy. But it's like man, it just isn't funny. And if it is. It's not for the right reasons, and yeah, I don't know. Two bucks finally from Just Larm. The absolute despair while reading Cad is amazing. Yeah, I mean it's enjoyable for me. Even even if I hate it, it, it is enjoyable because I never really read Control Alt Delete back in the day. <clears throat> you need to understand, Chad. Anybody who's still here, you need to understand. Back in the day, on 4chan, there used to be what we called lull threads, and this was not really something that you were supposed to do on 4chan. I mean, not on V, anyway. You could do it on, like, CK if you want to... No, uh, not C... That's the cooking board. On, um, on CO, on CO. You could do it on CO. 
you could like do your lol thread on Ko, but even then it would be considered like a meme. It would be considered kind of a shit post, and you might get it like it might get deleted by the mods. But it was frequently done on V, especially because it is a video game themed comic and V culture and all of that. Lay V culture, lay epic Jimmy's V culture, and um, and so uh, lol threads were were very common. And, you know, you would get basically what it would be, it would, it would be the newest, that week's newest uh, Control-Alt-Delete comic. And it would be the, accompanied by the text, the simple text, often in spoiled, so you'd have to click on it first. And you would always know what it is before you click on it, but you'd still click anyway, just to see that it says LOL. The, which is, of course, you know, <clears throat> it's not LOL, it's not funny, Did not funny, didn't laugh. None of his fucking comics are funny. Um, and it would be lol, and then it would be 500 posts omitted. Because the whole thread would be, where's the joke, Buckley? And people, like, editing out letters from the the, the, para from the, the word bubbles so that it actually is funny. Or, like, doing some kind of Buckley edits to actually make them funny. Which, I don't know if any of those are saved anywhere. The classic Buckley edits. Beyond the loss era like every comic each week was getting edits made for it by people on 4chan that made them infinitely funnier i don't know if they would still be funny but like man compared to fucking the actual comic they sure were um so yeah that was the that's the pedigree of this this stream is the 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 year ago or whatever or year ago the the decade ago or whatever when i would uh when i would look at a uh i would look at a 4chan thread and it would go lol and i would read these fucking comics and i'd be like surely one of them must be funny and every now and then one of them would be he had one about uh, he had a recurring one about mac versus pc um those those commercials back in the day and it was like a parody of that where it was just you know pc was better because it you know generally is uh, and, uh, you know, th th I don't know, as, you know, as somebody who was also, you know, a PC person, I was like, huh, this is, this is good. Yeah, Mac does suck. Yeah, you tell him, Buckley. And that was, like, one of the only, there's, there's a few of those that are, like, okay-ish, and those, that's, like, one of the only things I can point to from Buckley that he ever made that was funny on purpose. Uh, and even then, they aren't, like, a uh, fucking crack-up joke, but, like, you know, ten years ago, I I had them in my I had them in my like funny comics folder. You know, they weren't that bad. There's a few that aren't that bad. If you can forget that it's Tim Buckley, sometimes he 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 can tell a joke that's not the worst. But man, it sure is rare. It sure is rare. Anyways, that's the stream. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for engaging with with the content. I hope you had fun. I'll see you next time. It might be later tonight, even probably not though. It'll probably be tomorrow. But uh, I'm gonna do a little little rest. It would be very dumb of me to come to to, to do a rest and then come back later in the evening. Uh, I should probably continue to rest and eat food and things. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I should probably get a lunch going. Uh, but uh, yeah, thank you everybody for watching. This has been a good one. Uh, I'll see you next time where we will do. I was gonna do some games today too. I wanted to do Sonic Adventure too maybe, but. Uh, We'll have to do that soon. S stick around next time. We might do some game stuff. We might do Wheel of Trash maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Something, something a little different, perhaps. Something a little, uh, a little, something we haven't done in a bit. Maybe, uh, maybe Cringe List. We haven't done one of those in a while. Or TikTok, maybe. I don't know. Something. I'll figure something out. Something, something fun. Maybe, uh, you know what? You know what hasn't? You know what we haven't done in a while is uh, bad, bad chefs. It's maybe it's time we look at some more bad chefs. I don't know. It's been like a couple months. Um, but anyways, there's a few options there. You know, we'll see what happens. And, uh, yeah, take it easy, folks. Penis. Penis!